hey guys welcome back to another video hope you all are doing good so if you are facing issue with your printer and getting this kind of error operation could not be completed and you can see the error code as well in this video let's fix this issue so your first method will be run the troubleshooter so click on this search box and type troubleshoot you will get this result troubleshoot settings click on it after that click on this additional troubleshooters click on this printer option then click on this option run the troubleshooter so this will try to identify the problem wait for a few minutes now select your printer then click on next now click on close cut this window and check but if you are still getting the same problem move on to the next method again click on this search box and type reg this will show you the result of a registry editor click on it now here you have to click on this folder h key current user click on this folder expand this folder after that click on this software folder expand this folder click on this microsoft folder scroll down click on this windows nt folder expand this folder click on this current version folder expand this then click on this windows folder so right click on this window fold, uh, windows folder right click on the windows folder after that click on permission here what you have to do is you have to add your login username so click on add after that click on object types only tick users click on ok click on advanced tab click on this find now option so this will show you the login usernames only now you have to select your login username okay like this select your login username then click on ok click on ok after that give the full permission to your login username click on apply click on ok that's it cut this window and after that restart your system and this will fix the printer issue now move on to the final method you can try if you are still getting the same issue again click on this search box and then type service click on this services option so these are the windows services i have now you have to search for a service called print spooler right click on this service then click on properties now here in the startup type make sure the option is selected as automatic okay after that run this service okay now again right click on print spooler then click on restart so you have to restart this service as well that's it cut this window and check so these are the three methods you can apply this is all for the video thank you